<laughs> and, and, and on that note, I made up Mike's live, so yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> and, my okay. phone's, and my phone's not, not silent, so I'm glad the podcast is a huge delay. Anyhow, Ultra Podcast Z, episode 77, double sevens. We gotta go on for like 7,700 more episodes, get 77777. But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would any of us be alive? Because that'd be 77,000. Wait, 77. I can't, I can't math, guys. That's 7,700 weeks. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'd all be long dead. I but... sure hope so. <laughs> 7,000 weeks is not... Wait, never mind. 7,000 <laughs> weeks? I mean, mind. like, that's 100 weeks, just rough math. That's 100 weeks a, a year? I mean, a year. Two years, sorry. So, like, just doing some rough math right there, 1,000 would be 20 years. So, it'd be 140... It, wait, I can't... Yeah, that's right, 140 years. Plus, give or take, 150 years. Why did I think that up? Anyways, Ultra Podcast, the episode, seven, episode 77. As always, I'm Manuel, leader of Virgin Connections, and the host here, Konaru. Um, oh, it's funny. I didn't even tell Ren. Ren, Ren has no... I did, I did this before. The last time Ren canceled on us... I mean, Ren. The last time Konaru canceled on us, um, I never told the person who was the guest until they were actually live, but <laughs> Konaru canceled on us. So Jasmine's replacing her. <laughs> Say hi, Jasmine. Hi, I'm always here. <laughs> yeah, she's like the eternal replacement. It's all, I almost feel bad for you. We have had you on like twice that we scheduled, but like you're always the replacement. And Callie too. Callie's kind of been the new Jasmine the past few months because like you haven't been on for a while. But um, anyway, and tonight we have a lovely, lovely guest, Ren, aka why did I put Ren? That's so boring. Hold on, Ren, Ahamu. Recycle John. No, just kidding. Just went right off. Your your camera went kind of. I never seen that effect before. That was kind of cool. But um, anyhow, introduce yourself, Ren Ahamu. Uh, I'm Ren Ahamu. <laughs> <laughs> I got candles on my head and my shoulders. Oh, you do. I, I I was putting them there as you were talking. I didn't even notice. I did it. Oh. No, so, like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Ren. I'm an idol. I'm in BT Free. And yeah, uh, I got milk. Is that milk? Is that milk tea or something? Strawberry milk. Oh, okay. I, I know that. Okay. I was like, what are you drinking? I thought it was, um, I thought it was alcohol of some sort, like a, like a small can of Strong Zero or something like that. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> I legitimately thought it was. Happy, you come here, you <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, it's Halloween. We got some spooks. We got some nonsense to talk about. Um, before we get into that, I want. Oh, first of all, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, chat is open. Let us know. The stream is running better. It, it kind of lagged right now, but it, it was working. <laughs> um, Feel free to join in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you like us, if not, then tell us you hate us in the comments. I still read every comment. They're great. Stop. Stop. Shares every comment with the rest of us. Yes. Uh, if, you, um, if you're looking for topics tonight, we have a few. Now, I wanted to go over some of our, our Halloween plans, because believe it or not, we haven't gone over those. Even though, like... we. we before last year, I felt like we were recycling so much of the same content every week. Like we would just go over the same talk topics with each new host. There's a lot of basic stuff we haven't covered this week, and I want to cover some of that just for fun because Halloween is very soon. Um, yes. Also, we're gonna look at Party City and make fun of some bootleg websites. We're gonna do some other bootleg stuff in general, and make fun of uh, uh, how Ren is actually bootleg uh, Rina Hamu. So. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel better if we said Rina Hama was bootleg Ren? <laughs> no, she's perfect. <laughs> but no, so we got some topics. But if you're, but if you're watching on YouTube, look in the description below, and then maybe follow the thing on the bottom right to see if you want to scrub along to a certain one, because not all of it is fully formed yet. But first, let's talk about. Actually, before we start any of this, let's talk a bit about like what's been with both of you guys, because I, I feel like both of you haven't been on it forever. It's been a while. It, whenever I remember, um, I watched uh, the Butterfly Effect the other day because uh, a friend of mine was doing like this horror movie thing. Even though I don't know, Butterfly Effect is a horror movie 
fucking movie. But um, that song, it's I don't even know what it's called. It's been a while, but that song was like, is that Nickelback? That song was uh, <laughs> I don't know who does that song, but uh, is it Nickelback? I think it's Nickelback. But you, I don't I know, know if you, what? You never heard the song? It's been a while. Or I think it's, I don't know if that's the actual title, but like it's been a while since I gone and fucked it. I don't remember the whole lyrics. <laughs> You know, you know the song, Jasmine. You know it, right? I think you've heard it before because you're laughing. I think I know what you're talking about. It's a song from the early 2000s. It was like huge when I was like in like middle school or something, which is actually it could have been that long ago. Uh, but it was huge when I was younger. I mean, probably high school. But anyways, anyway, so nobody knows that joke. Somebody knows it. Comment below. But <laughs> Red, since you came up with since you came up unknowingly with the "It's been a while" joke, um, what's been doing with you at Peachy Parade? Uh, uh, I still, um, peachy parade. <laughs> uh, A to B is soon. So we've really just been preparing for that. And then we're going to Japan right after. Oh, yeah. It, it, and we're working on original music. Too, so that's neato. Oh, and we've got auditions open for new members. It's, it's my time has come. I think it's my time to. Uh... You don't live in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how that. I love how that's the part that's wrong with me auditioning. Is I don't live in Atlanta. Like I'll move tomorrow. I'll just join. No. <laughs> Still not. Don't worry. I'll buy. I'll buy your check use. I know. <laughs> See, like, like, someone will support me. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'll be the underdog in Michi Parade. I, I'm gonna no, do this. I, no, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Auditions closed. Auditions yeah, no, closed. It's like manual need not apply. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. So Jasmine, what's new with you? Um. Hmm. The food has arrived. <laughs> oh, the food! Has um, I don't know what have I been doing in this. I've been doing school and work and photo shoots. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of photo shoots. Okay. Yeah, making. I'm gonna make a really fancy uh, gala dress for Katsukan. Um, I filmed a cosplay music video. I filmed the second part of it coming up, and I have a cosplay mu music video I filmed. I forgot to release. Mm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was a Ren burp. It was funny because uh, I don't know if anyone, well, actually, no one heard it because uh, we hadn't, I, I hadn't actually gone fully live yet. But I had burped at some point, and I was kind of, I thought it was quiet, but I'm like, I busted a Ren. But anyways, go on, Jasmine. Sorry. But yeah, mainly cosplay stuff, work, school, and I feel like there's something else that's like relevant, but I can't think of it right now. Oh, I built this like very nice. Um, Evangelion shrine that you can see half of. Nice. So, anyways, as for me, nothing new. Nothing too crazy new. Just a lot of uh, Ultra Podcast Z stuff, a lot of Con stuff, a lot of uh, A to J stuff. Um, similar to Ren, we are looking for new A to J people, but we're doing that kind of on the DL. Um, mm. Mainly because, like, we've had a lot of people... <laughs> but announces it on podcast. Yeah, no, but mainly we had, we've had, like, people like Kelly who have basically become part of us accidentally. And then we have a bunch of people who've been writing reviews for us for the video game stuff who basically have become like our video game reviewers, even though that uh, wasn't the intention. It's just that the random people I've been giving it to have been the same two random people. So uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, we might as well just bring you in the fold and whatever. And one of them, one of them wants to do more stuff anyway. So yeah. So let's talk a bit about some Halloween stuff before we go on to uh, Party City. Party City, excuse me? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, thought, I, thought was, I thought that was Ren who said it, but I didn't realize there's someone in the background right there. Oh, oh it is, that is Halloween stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Ren, what are, what are your Halloween plans? I'll be at Eatity Way. Oh, you will! I forgot about that. Well... I'll be at work first because I work at a Halloween store. I'm not disclosing the name of it, but yeah. Oh, is it Party City? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god! It's not the spirit Halloween. <laughs> it's funny because, um, full disclosure, the, the the big the big central part to this podcast, we're gonna like 
peruse Party City and get some uh, and make fun of all their make fun of everything. For those that didn't know, I've worked at Party City for years up until kind of recently. Um, I won't go too far into it because I, I didn't enjoy it too much. But um, during Halloween, it got kind of interesting, like mildly so. Like it at least was, it wasn't total retail hell because you know every other time but Halloween was your uh, oh it doesn't scan it must be free oh can I you know are you the manager do you can I speak, can I speak to someone above you and you know so on. Um, so every it does still happen during Halloween. Don't get me wrong, but at least Halloween you also had the added you know bonus of. One, it being so crazy that you could legitimately ignore the annoying customers because it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, well, I'm gonna ignore you because there's a million of people I can easily serve like around you who aren't being obnoxious. Um, I mean, that's it's like that at uh, Joanne's because I also work at Joanne's sometimes. <laughs> well, Joanne's also whole- has some Halloween nonsense going on too, doesn't it? Well, fall, oh yeah, so yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, our store. We're since we're going into the last week before Halloween. I'm stressed. I'm actually surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now I, I mentioned already. That I worked at Party City before. Um, my original thought uh, for this podcast before we asked Ren to come on actually was I was gonna ask one of my many Party City friends to um, to show up, but weird weirdness of the weird. Somebody I know still works there, like he's a manager there, and he was hiring a lot of people recently. He actually tried to hire me, um, just to come, <laughs> just to come back for like a day. Cause he, TLDR, for those that know, like the store has to hit a certain quota of number of people to hire. Doesn't matter if they work or not, just a certain quota. So he wanted to Dang. hire me. Yeah. So he wanted to hire me for, for like to work one day for a pretty decent pay rate. But I was like, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to go out there. It's like, I don't really need the money. So like, I was like, fuck it. I'm just not going to do it. But my point to bring this up is he had recruited all my other ex party city friends for the same reason. So, <laughs> and because it's the week before Halloween, I couldn't get any of them on because everyone's like, oh, I, I worked this night. I worked this night. I'm like, what about Wednesday? I worked that night. I worked that night. And this is like one night that I could have. And I'm like, then I'm not free that night. Um, <laughs> So I'm surprised Ren was able to get away with that this close to Halloween. Party City sucks. Peter, he just better be gone. Today is my only off day this whole week. That's insane. But that also like, a, sounds about right. I'm an assistant manager there too, so. Oh. Yeah, that sounds perfectly about right. And this would be the kind of day you would be off, like, you know, especially if you're a manager. Because they're not going to put you off on, like, you know, a Friday. So. <laughs> I actually had last Friday off. Oh, that's amazing. It was. But I, th- that also, kind of, it's kind of sad you're going to work Halloween. I guess you have AWA afterwards. Um, yeah, I'm I'm opening, so it's not a big a deal. I'm only going to be there till like, 4. Dude, <laughs> not, not to trade, like, Halloween work stories, but I remember, like, there were so many Halloweens where I'd, I'd open the day. I used to almost always open, especially on Halloween. That's the way the schedule would work. And uh, I would be there Halloween morning, but there was one or two years I remember working like um, at evening or at least late enough that it was like pretty late, close to like evening. And uh, people would come in at like 6 p.m. with their kid, like, I need a costume. (laughs) And like, no, nothing is there. I mean, like, everything is sold out. We're out of like every costume, every mask, every like, I'm like, um, Get a wig, get some gloves, like get a, get, a, get a robe. I mean, like, like we're out of everything. I don't know what to tell you. And, and it was always like it was all. This, it never failed. This happened several, several times, and it's like I can't work with you like this. You know that reminds me of when I worked at a grocery store. It'd be Thanksgiving oh morning. Of course, people were running in and grabbing food, but like four o'clock on thank because we like close at like three thirty, four thirty, or whatever on Thanksgiving Day. Coming in looking for a turkey, no. <laughs> like, like I need a turkey right now, and I'm like, "What are you going to eat?" Like ten o'clock. Like, no, I would admit, like I've almost been that person. Frozen turkey. No, I, I went. I remember, like, because I, I used to work at Party like Party City, of course, and like retail. It was also we also kind of busy around that time too, but we were close for Thanksgiving, and it never occurred to me to shop earlier. So I remember the day before Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving even, not even the day before, going to find a turkey. And I literally had to go to like 10 supermarkets. I think I ended up finding it at like 
not even a supermarket. I had to go to like a like I guess it's still a supermarket, but I had to go to like a really tiny like mom and pops like um ethnic food market market that mainly dealt yeah it, it mainly dealt with Indian food and stuff like that. But they happened to have turkey, and I only went in on a whim because it was in the plaza with the bigger market. And I was like, oh shit, because I knew they had meat. And I'm like, do you guys happen to have a turkey? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, do you guys happen to have turkey? They go, yeah, we have turkey. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but uh but yeah it was uh and by the way when i say ethnic food market i'm not being like <laughs> on pc or whatever the place was called like it had a name it was like ethnic food market like i said it dealt mainly in indian food but they, they called itself that anyway anyway that's super off topic <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> oh my god so yeah don't be that person get your costume ren has a, ren has a costume she's a pumpkin are you <laughs> no no this is just a main dress <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm so stressed for Saturday because um people we we just got one of our last shipments in and um we are almost completely sold out of our Fortnite stuff. Is that big this year? Oh my god. That's such like oh a my... stupid question, but like it is like painfully big. We have we had so much Fortnite stuff, and now it's just all gone. The no, parents are going to be outraged. Their no, children want to be. <laughs> every year, every year, there's like the handful of costumes. Usually, it's even the one. Like I remember, yeah. like way back when, um, oh fuck, I remember the name of it. Oh, the Force Awakens came out. The Kylo Ren one was mm. big. When the Transformers movie would come out, whatever Transformer was new would be big. The Elsa, when fucking Frozen came out, oh Elsa was big. Um, and even Elsa was my favorite one because we got so many of those. But somehow, and I, I wish I got trick or treating or something like that because there must have been armies of Elsa girls like down the street. But um. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we always we we always sell out long before. Are you guys laughing about Army of Elsa girls? Yes. <laughs> no, seriously. I imagine that because like, um, no joke. There was a family. There was a family that we sold an adult costume, a teen costume, and like two different sized children's ones too. So like, they were all going as Elsa, and it was like, what the heck? Um, and we didn't have many of the adult and teen ones, but yeah, <laughs> Elsa teen family. Her own, I guess. Uh, some people, but um, but no. My, my point to bring that up is, I always love that shit. Always sells out so whatever the popular ones always sell out so early, and it's like, oh my god, I, I just hate it. I hate it. It's like people show up so late. Don't get me wrong, I'm kind of like that too because I haven't really finalized my costume stuff, and I only did it like a couple days ago. Yeah. But don't get mad at us for not exactly. having what you want. Oh my god! And there's some people who like, um, who like just start bringing up things that don't exist. I'm like, do you know? Do you know? Do you... <laughs> oh my! I, I, there's so many examples. But anyway, anyway, um, gosh, I'm getting so many like bad memories of like Halloween bullshit and oh my god. There was this guy who came in looking for an Uncle Fester costume, like Adam's family. Yeah. Uncle and he comes in and he's like, y'all have an Uncle Fester costume? I'm like, we don't, but we probably have the stuff to kind of throw something like together because like, it's like what? A ball cap and a cloak. Like. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so I take him to the ball caps and he's like, oh, okay, do you have any cloaks? So I take him over to the cloak a heavy like pleather almost type kind of cloak like we just have like deluxe ones left and he's like this isn't accurate enough like I can't use pleather it needs to be cloth and I'm like what is he going to cost contest judging like I know. <laughs> who is the judge <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like well I that's all we got so it sucks to you be should late. just send him to Joanne's. Be like, do you want some cloth? Go cloth. To <laughs> just wrap it around you. <laughs> I, I should have. <gasps> Caitlin, did you see that text? Just uh, just get a really big sheet. Like, cut your head out, put it that way. Get your head out, put it the other way, and just tie it together with the string. That's how costumes yeah. work, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I've seen people like come into the Joanne's with like some crazy like costume things like oh my god because like most of the time it's just like pieces of things so you don't know what anyone's making 
but then, like, you can just kind of see where things are just going to go downhill. Like, people have, like, a whole thing of, like, feathers, and they're like, I'm going to be, like, a peacock. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't think that's the right kind of fe- Like, we're not talking, like, peacock feathers. My, my, um, my, my brother, my brother, my, I have a niece. My brother's child. And, um, every year she competes in, like, this not, Knott's Berry Farm, um, like, costume contest. If you don't know what Knott's Berry Farm is, it's a local amusement park that has, like, Peanuts characters or whatever. Um, so she competes in that, like, every year. And she's won almost every year with these elaborate costumes my brother makes. Um, like, he made her, uh, into the Jurassic Park car last year. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really funny. It's like, dude, this shit would win, like, at most, like, cosplay contests, but they just do it for Halloween and throw it away. Um, (laughs) yeah, exactly. And, like, they don't even win anything big. They win, like, I think they win tickets to the the park and they have passes anyway. It's just for, like, her friends or whatever. That's, like, it. Mm -hmm. But it's more, like, so she wins or whatever. Um, and I forgot what else she's been, but I remember that was the, that was the recent one. This year, (laughs) I go over and he's, like, he's making her into an X-Wing. Like you know, like like you know the the Star Wars X Wing, the fighter the, the the fighter thing. And I'm looking at it and like it's it's fucking December December. It's fucking October twenty second. And like he has like I don't know where he found him or if he literally drew I think he drew him himself. I don't think you could really find something like this. He had like schematics of the X Wing, he had sized them down, he had traced it out of like this plastic thing, and he had all these different versions of it. And then he was using like these boxes, I don't know where he had found as spacers. And I'm like I'm like, how is this going to come together? <laughs> I'm like, you have, like, days. And I think the, the contest is this weekend, too. So it's not even till Halloween. It's this weekend. So I'm like, you have days. You have days. Uh, it might be... He's a- conscientious. He's yeah. serious. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It feels like watching somebody, like, in a mad, mad con crunch. But it's, like, it's just for Halloween. It's just so weird. And, um... But, yeah. I don't know. Um, follow us on Twitter. I'll, I'll post a picture of the X-Men costume if it ever, uh, if it ever material, I'm sure it'll materialize. Um, the car surprised me because I saw the car. It was like, I'm like, this is never going to work. He had, he literally bought a really expensive toy of it, like an RC toy because it was really highly detailed. And then like, like blew it up basically. Like he measured it and blew it up from that. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. He's like not joking. <laughs> yeah, and he did the measurements from that. Like he's like, oh, so this is this many inches. If I do it like, you know, this many times more so it's like person size. And yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I don't know. Uh what are you gonna be for Halloween, Ren? Anything? I guess you're going to a con. Are you gonna like dress up? Bold of you to assume I have time for anything. I know as well say like if I if I had to work and go to because I remember like when I would work the mornings it's like there's a thing called Carnival which, which happens in WeHo West Hollywood where it's just like you go there I you, know. yeah um so I've done that actually I've done that like every year even if I even if I'm not working obviously uh like not working the day before or the day the morning before but uh if I was working at parties the morning before usually all I would do was I would just like have a change of clothes like something a bit like not work related maybe like a metal shirt look a little cooler or like you know i don't know but i'd go out like i I wouldn't even i wouldn't put anything on one year i was towed (laughs) i remember that that was pretty fun but um but yeah i never i i I never i I really dressed up i got um uh last year i had like some ghosts like you know from the band ghost like the mask and everything like that um, mm. I don't know what the this year I'm just gonna be like a werewolf like I've done many times but it's a nice new mask. So. Yeah. Um. Well, I have. I'm planning on wearing. Uh, I have this like the uh, Halloween card copter sac- soccer address from like when me my and I'm wearing to work. Uh. And then I've also got um. The outfits we're wearing for the idol show, we're going to be wearing Halloween costumes. Mm. And so if everything comes in time, I'm going to be a doll, like a broken doll. Oh, that's cool. But my backup plan is like a witch or something. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone's backup plan. Like, mine's always like, I'll be a vampire, you know, just. (laughs) So, yeah, the very easy, obvious things to do. Um, Who are you going to be, Jasmine? My... I don't know. My friend's having a not Halloween party, so I'm gonna go to that. Uh, and on Halloween, I'm literally gonna sit on my couch and like 
watch horror movies and <laughs> we're gonna watch horror movies. <laughs> we're watching horror movies and <laughs> disembodied voice and I are watching horror movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, um, disembodied voice. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Parties on actual Halloween because too many people get to go too hard. Wait, who was the hill? Oh, the hill. Oh. Um, so I live in a college town, so we have like a lot of you know stuff that goes on. Oh, and so all the rats are located as a place known as the Hill. But apparently, I've just been informed that all the the Hill is banned from having Halloween parties on Halloween, like the actual day of Halloween, because too much stuff happens. That too bad it was right. But it's on a Thursday this year. Ah, uh, it well, takes like, too much. Uh, Carnival, which I mentioned earlier. We, well, that's a bit different, but Carnival, it's for obvious reasons, it's almost always on a weekday. Because it's, it's kind of rare that it's like it's been on a weekday for years, obviously, and someone again, like it gets pretty wild. Like I, I've seen, I've seen certain parts of it get shut down early. It's supposed to be to like two in the morning, like to all the bars close, and there's people all in the, they close streets down. But um, but I've seen I've seen them start um like pushing people away, like you know, oh the streets close, and they they push people away and reopen the street um early because it's getting t- a little too rowdy. Uh, so yeah, I, I can see that happening. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm definitely doing Carnival this 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 weekend. Um, I don't look forward to it because like I always Uber it there and Uber it back for obvious reasons. Like I like you know I, I don't usually don't go there like thinking I'm gonna get drunk, but like just in case I do. <laughs> like I'm with Uber, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just show up in an Uber myself. Like I'm here, guys. I'm here, strangers. But uh, we're gonna show up and then we're gonna like Uber back. But the Ubers are always like ridiculous because they're like peaking like crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, like we have a secret spot which I won't name because I don't want anyone to steal it in case you watch this before before Carnival. But and if you happen to go, but there's a spot that's close by that nobody ever Ubers to and from, and uh, we usually get it from there, and it's like not that bad. Yeah, miscellaneous, discreet location. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's it's an okay, it, it's a, it, it's close, and it's like you're gonna get stabbed going there. So, um, <laughs> which is the biggest concern? Is you walk down the wrong neighborhoods in some places, and it's like shady as fuck or really ritzy and fuck and you'll probably get the cops calling you either way so um <laughs> but um anyway carnival halloween it's gonna be great there was supposed to be a con i was gonna go to awa this year um but there was supposed to be a different con that happened here on the same days oh. it, was, it was hentai con and um oh, yes <laughs> Red's look Red's like you abandoned awa for hentai um <laughs> Uh, it, it was gonna be a lot of fun, and obviously day zero was gonna be um, Halloween, and I was gonna get the room there. We we're gonna party, we we're gonna drink, we we're gonna do everything like stupid as hell with all the guests, you know, like all these. Um, I won't name the names, like they didn't come. I don't want to like point out that like we knew who was coming, but ended up not coming. But there was a bunch of JAV <laughs> stars and like people like that who were supposed to show up, like pretty big names. If you're party with the Jab Girls, yeah. <laughs> And that would have been great, but unfortunately, that wasn't on the card. So now I'm going to Carnival. Let me off this podcast right now. See, even Wesley's like rip hentai con. Why? You you don't want to go to hentai con? You don't even want to go to hentai con. Hentai con, come on, guys. Look at Ren. Ren's so dumb. <laughs> like of all the things <laughs> I've said, he's like hentai con. No, <laughs> it's funny because I, I told Sylvia like way back, like this was a, a long time ago. Um, when I think because. HentaiCon didn't announce their dates until kind of like in the summer, but like they already knew. I knew about them because like I have staff friends and whatever. I knew about them since like the end of last year ish. Um, so when AWA announced their dates, which was actually after the HentaiCon ones, I already knew about. Sue was like, "You're gonna come, right?" I'm like, "It clashes with HentaiCon," and she was like, "I don't even know who you are." <laughs> like she was so upset. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, it's "Like, what is wrong with you? What kind of choice is that?" <laughs> It's like, but hentai con. <laughs> so, are you, so you're not even going to this con? It's canceled, and now I'm just gonna. But, it, but they canceled it like so recently, like literally like two or three weeks ago, that I can't go to. I guess I could, but it's too last minute for me to go to AWA. I bet you feel like boo boo the fool right now. <laughs> I really do. Like I'm not gonna lie. If I if I had known, obviously if I had known this was gonna happen, things would have been a lot different. But like. For the record, hentai con. Obviously, there's hentai there, but there's other guest stuff going on there. Or there would have been. <laughs> there are other things happening, guys. Come on. There were so <laughs> many of my friends going, which is the other big <laughs> thing. Um, Bro, we should get a it's funny because Wesley's like, it's such a sausage fest. I remember, like, I remember last year. <laughs> we're getting really off topic here, but last year, um, 
I showed up and I was like, uh, cause like, it, for those who don't know, Ada Jane's actually mostly female members. Um, it just the way the ball bounces. Um, so when I showed up with like my people to do panels who were rooming with me and etc., like I brought a bunch of girls <laughs> and I remember it was the running joke. Um, one of my staffer friends who was like getting us all the interviews with like, uh, Shibuya Kaho and like Harry or Sugar Cookie who were guests there that year. He came up. He's like, "This is where all the girls are hiding, apparently, <laughs> in, in this fucking party." Because like it was like me and like a, me and like uh, Wesley and a, another guy friend, and then we had like eight girls. Um, not like that. This sounds, this, this sounds really sketch. Not like that. Um, but I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Okay, you know what? This topic's done. <laughs> Hentaicon is dead. Rip Hentaicon. Uh, Renahama hates me. And let's uh, let's move on to more Halloween nonsense. <laughs> is this your first year working at a at a Halloween store, Ren? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's seasonal. So, like, after like when I leave on the thirty first, that's it. I'm done. Or you could get my weird drink mixture. You're not even right gonna now. close the store. That I mean, obviously you couldn't anyway because you're doing AWA. But you're not even gonna close the I'm, store. I'm opening. That no, but store. I mean, you're gonna close the store as in like, get, like. Make sure everyone like, turns into a fireworks store mid year. You know, like the Halloween stores that turn to fireworks stores and they go back to Halloween stores. <laughs> yeah, no, I I have to go to the con and I'm going to be at the con all weekend and then they're going to have to tear down without me because I go to Japan right after. Oh, you're actually totally right. Is Japan? Yeah. <laughs> you have a crazy ass schedule. Um, yes. Rip. I'm surprised you're not like dead. Anyway. I am. I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Well, anyway, uh, going over some of our more recent podcast topics, um, besides that stuff, uh, for those who've been watching, we, we did Halloween candy tier list, so real fast, Ren, what's your favorite Halloween candies? Candy corn. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you so nasty. I know, even disembodied voice. Even <laughs> disembodied <laughs> voice. <laughs> I like candy corn. I like candy corn. I genuinely like candy corn. <laughs> I genuinely hate that. It's so terrible. Well, we accept all differences here at <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. How do you like candy corn? I'm not gonna lie. Part of me was gonna preface that by saying, "What were your opinions on candy corn?" Because that was the biggest um, point of contention we had. Yeah, that we had because, like, um, not with us, mind you, because the people who were on it, nobody liked candy corn. But everyone in the comments who was like watching that night, everyone who watched it afterwards, we have like two dislikes on that video, like no comments. But I'm pretty sure those dislikes because of our candy corn bullshit. Um, See, listen, I know that it's unpopular to like candy corn, which makes me like it even more because <laughs> I get to have it all to myself. I go trick or treating with people, and if anyone gives out candy corn, I get to have the candy corn because no one else wants it. Anytime I've ever seen candy corn, it's been like straight, like it's just been like poured no. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we talked about that in the podcast because like they do sell it individually, like you know, little little bags, you know, like yeah, the little bags. But, but no, <laughs> but like I, I, when I when I was a kid, I legit just got candy corn. Like people just yeah, like gave me candy corn, <laughs> and like because we made this joke about the nasty stuff that's at the bottom of your bag. And like we talked about the people who give pixie sticks and how one of them inevitably I breaks. Love no. Pixie <laughs> sticks. <laughs> no, but have they ever broken on you when you're trick or treating? When like uh, we've talked about there's that, how like there's sugar the all over the bottom, and we're talking about like this loose candy corn. There's sugar. There's like other loose, like that box of like you know of dots open too, and it's all over down there. <laughs> or like the, the melted box of milk duds yes. that's kind of like pushed. <laughs> oh my god. Just eat all that. But anyway, so um, candy corn. I, I, I can't stand candy corn. Um, it, I, I mentioned this in the last podcast. Like, I think all the stuff we put in our F tier, uh, um, including candy corn, by the way, would be stuff that I would automatically throw away. Um, I don't think oh, I even gave people the option. Uh, does anyone else want this? It's like, no. Trash. Um, See, I don't... I don't even know, like, what else is considered Halloween-specific candy. Like, I like candy corn. I like those little cheap gold chocolate things. What? That was also a tier. <laughs> How? 
Ian's got play. bad taste, my man. No, what the hell? <laughs> no, um, no, no, no. I really like milk duds. Like, Halloween is almost the only time I eat them because I my jaw gets tired. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know what else is, like, considered, like, Halloween candy. Well, like, it's just, anything like, you ever get, it's, like, there's nothing that's truly only Halloween except for candy corn, I think. Do you like circus peanuts? Because, like... What? I didn't even know that was a candy until, like, very recently. Like, earlier this year. The, the I, weird, like, squishy... Yes! So like when, mm-hmm. okay, I'm glad at least we could all agree on that. The the the. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so circuit. So, uh, do you like candy corn, Jason? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no one does. That, that's good. Hey. <laughs> That'll be enough. Did you, like, do you like the do you like the pumpkins? Because uh, the pumpkins. The pumpkins are my favorite. No, those are the worst. No, those are the worst. <laughs> no, those are the worst. That's what I was gonna say. Cause like Max brought those up. It's, we didn't bring them up at all the podcast. I think we forgot. But like Max brought it up after the fact. I'm like the pumpkins are the worst. I wish we remembered. Man, my mom and I will always get a bag of the autumn mix, and the pumpkins are my no. favorite ones to eat. The pumpkins are the worst. The pumpkins, and then the chocolate ones, and then the regular. Oh no. Yeah. No. I also, I like to eat, like, the yellow and the orange part first and save, like, a bunch of the white bits because those t- part, that part tastes the best to me, so I'll just eat a bunch of the white bits. What the? <laughs> that's a very it's specific way to eat them. I can respect that, but that's a very interesting way to eat a very disgusting candy. I didn't it's... actually, I don't think I ever noticed that they had different flavors. Do they actually, or is that just a thing you do? No, they do have different flavors. Oh, I never the, noticed that. Well, the pumpkins, like, the, other ones do, but yeah. Like, the stripes, I didn't realize were different. Yeah. I like them. Uh, cotton candy is my favorite candy of, like, all time, though. Oh, and Fun Dip. I love Fun Dip. Oh, how could I forget about Fun Dip? Like, I used to always get... Like, I don't know if I ever get that anymore. Like, I, but I used to always get that as a kid for Halloween. I, I used to always get sad when the stick would be broken, though. They've, um, they've become more of like a Valentine's candy. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember that was that was pretty big when I was a, like when I was a kid. I remember like loving that. And I, I got it a lot for Halloween. Like like you said, like I, I see it all the time at Party City when I used to work there. Like as part of like card kits, like you get the you get that candy with it. But yeah. I mean, but I've never seen like that candy like at all in a package for Halloween like to be given out like you know on mass again. So I guess yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Um, what are your favorites, Jasmine? I know we don't like candy corn. But what are your favorites? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've, I don't feel like I have any Halloween specific. I I like all the sour candy. So like anytime oh, we get like yeah. sweet tarts, like all of those, I would want like sweet tarts, the fun dip back in the day when you still got them, pixie sticks when they weren't broken, <laughs> and I can't eat chocolate, so that like, it cuts out like literally everything else. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids are pretty good too. My <laughs> friend's like, no. I love almond. No. Almond Joy is the best candy in the world. We yeah. talked about Warheads. And uh, I was pointing out that I, I actually bought these for them because we actually ate candy on the podcast. These are the only candy still left because I will not touch them. And I realized, like, why did I buy them? Nobody in their lives ever eats Warheads. Because apparently, Max. Is, but nobody ever eats Warheads for fun. Do you really? Like, everyone. I like really, Like, everyone I know, it's just a dare. Or like, I, I eat warheads. I'm sitting in a room full of lies. <laughs> These are disgusting. So here, you can have that Nothing. warhead. Okay, here, just, like, just, just, just eat the warhead. Toss. Yeah. Just, just, just I like yeah. Sour Patch Kids, but they hurt my mouth if I eat too many. The stickiness or what? Or or, or you mean the sourness? No, I mean the sour. They, they, they like they make my mouth raw. No, like thinking about thinking about uh, because you know, like sour candy right now, I get like that those those like the tingling in my the back of my in my jaw. I don't know if anyone yeah. else gets that. Like I don't, I don't have to describe it. This is probably a better way to describe it than I just did. I get that I tingling. Mean, you really eat way too many. It's like eating way too many sunflower seeds. Like it just like tears your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, anyway, moving on from candy. The other topic last week was uh. With internet nonsense and like spoops, and just real fast because we had to cut this out of last week's episode because nobody wanted to do it, um, at all. Which is funny. I'm like, because I was joking out with my friends and we did it to see if it worked. What, who, does anyone have a thing against Ouija boards? 
I do not. Oh, Ren's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I found. Are you trying to something on the podcast, Manuel? I, well, I did. No, I mean, we can do it this one because I decided to, not to do it. But like, I had actually found an online Ouija board, and me and my you friends were well before Toys R Us closed. You could find them on Toys R Us. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I actually have a Stranger Things one that like Cavs got me for my birthday last year or something like that. Um, and I have a, a like a a normal branded one like you know normal milton bradley ouija board um floating around somewhere because I, I think they actually for that's always what i point out like dude it's like a commercial game that a company owns but anyway um but uh i found a website where you just you ask it a question and then like the thing moves around and nobody yeah. wanted to do it uh, <laughs> nobody it's wanted to do it. Spirits be conveyed through the internet, and it's actually kind of funny because, like, I, I don't know if it's programmed this way, but like, me and my friend we were messing with it for like an hour. Then after a while, it was like, ask later, ask later, ask later, and then finally, it started getting like kind of like mean, and it was all like, <laughs> leave now, <laughs> leave now. <laughs> Mind you, we were laughing, we were spooked, but like, when I was telling to other people, they're like, man, you, you've got some fucking spirits after me now on the internet. <laughs> It's like fucking Sonic goes on a crawl through your screen or something. <laughs> so yeah, if uh, Sonic crawls through my screen and th- this podcast ends soon because like I'm mocking her two weeks in a row or mocking whatever Ouija spirit like you know, <laughs> you possibly that, that, that's like that's done with my ass for like asking a million questions and we ask <laughs> stupid ass questions too. It, but um. <laughs> it, it was funny though. It, it, it was funny, and you know? I like like tempting face. I'm glad. I'm I'm fine. that nobody else apparently would have done that. Um, and yeah. Besides that, it was a lot of just nonsense. We talked a lot about viral videos and MySpace, and I feel yeah. like like I feel like the conspiracy theories thing was scarier when the oh, internet. When no, we got kicked we, off the internet. <laughs> no, and we talked. To, uh, we were gonna bring that up last week, but we didn't have time. But, uh, but yeah, that reminds me of that. We talked about conspiracy theories and we got kicked out. Like, when we were talking about big ass shit, like, the connection died and we we're like, what the fuck? Illuminati! <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati! <laughs> I don't know. But Ren's actually a member of the Illuminati, so she's keeping an eye out to make sure we don't do anything stupid. What? Yeah, aren't you? What? <laughs> You're a member of the Illuminati. <laughs> I know. I was you are a conspiracy really theory. You, you, you're, um, you're actually the Zodiac killer. <laughs> Is it <that> why? <laughs> it's just hard. It, you don't have to lie anymore. The Zodiac killer. Yeah. It's fucking okay. red. Okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah. painting my nails, bruh. <laughs> why are you painting your nails That's right now? Because I won't have time to do it any, any other time. So anyway. It's funny because I remember the last time you were on, you had to pause, and I actually bought pause at a different convention when I was drunk one night, and um, and I meant to put them on today, <laughs> Ted Cruz, but I meant to put them on earlier, <laughs> and I just did it. It reminds me of that I heard Ted Cruz is the best. Right for president. What? I'm really confused right now. Please Google Ted Cruz. No, like. <laughs> Oh, oh, I remember what the Zodiac Killer was all about now. I thought it was like, I don't know. What are you talking about? I, mean, I, that I was calling around the Zodiac Killer, and now we're just talking about that now. Um, anyway, but yeah, the last week's, last week's podcast was a mess. This, this one's uh, turning nicely into a mess, but I, I like the way this is flowing. We're having a good time. But let's move on to Party City. I didn't mean to take this long to, to move on to Party City. Let's move on to Party City before more randomness uh, occurs. Let me make sure I got everything ready though before we move. Oh yeah, I, I will no longer be visible because uh, I have to become a, uh, I have to become obnoxious because of this. Hold on. Bye. Well, you guys. Oh yeah, you guys still can't see me either. Uh, yeah. I was like, you guys can still see me. I'm like, wait, no, you can't. Um, no one sees me. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like knock everything over and start like watching porn. Um, <laughs> I don't know what Ren, the look on Ren's face. <laughs> also, in case anyone asks, I have no idea why that was the first thing I said either. But um, but the look on Ren's face, like disapproving Ren. <laughs> oh man, if you're if you're in our Discord, um, the A to J Discord, I'm we not. have uh, we have um, we have um, we have like emo- what do we call them? They call them emojis. I don't know what they call them there. We have emojis, like custom emojis there. And um, 
I think I think this I think we have one called disapproving Molly. Uh, I have, we have to change it to disapproving Ren, and I'll I'll screen cap that and send it to Konaro to make disapproving Ren. All right, oh, it's gone! Play, it's gone! I tried to leave it there, but like I, I've had the site open for, like so long, if I just disappeared. But when I first went to party, let me see if it happens. If I do it again. When I first go there, it like harasses you for your email like so hardcore, and I hate sites that do this. It's not gonna do it again. Oh yeah, hold on, maybe it will. Come on, harass me for my email, because I hate when they do this. Um, oh god, it's taking forever to load. Yeah, I have, I have good. Well, it's taking forever to load every. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Twenty um, percent off orders, but look at the options. You can either put your email and continue, or I'll I'll pay full price. It's not no. It's not. I don't want to give my info out. It's I'll pay full price. It's like so manipulative. That doesn't believe in the discount. It's so manipulative. I hate it. And look at it. It's not even like easy to see. Like I actually had to look at it from the screen directly because I can't see it on the screen I'm looking at. Um, because it's it's very like it's transparent in a font that you, that's so spidery. But yeah, but there is an X up here, so I'll just click off of that. But anyway, um, so let's look at Party City and let's both. Oh, some of this is official. Let's go to let's go to adult costumes. Uh, were you ever a candy corn witch, Ren? No. Cause that's the name of a very like popular costume that's always been like a party city. Oh, wait, is Frozen Two coming out? Yeah. Yeah. We released a trailer for it. But oh, what the fuck? I feel like this upcoming spring. Yeah, it comes out this spring. Oh, because they already have costumes for it. That's uh, that's actually kind of surprising. Um, I like how yeah, the, we do. I like how the Joker here is uh is fucking what's his name? Um, Heath Ledger Joker. Not only is it not the more popular uh Joaquin Phoenix, I almost said Jared Leto. Uh, it's not the more popular Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix one. It's definitely not Jared Leto, who's like the one that everyone makes fun of. My favorite thing going around right now is the memes, which are like, there are a lot of references to Jared Leto's Joker in the new Joker movie, and it's all the trash cans circled. <laughs> and no joke, Ren, no, I don't know if you've seen that meme yet, I'll send it to you later personally if you have it, but no joke, Ren, when I saw that meme, my first thought was you, when we put you in the trash in that meme, and you were recycled, Chan, and I was like, oh my God. those are references to Ren, I just saw it earlier this morning, so I, I didn't send it to you, but yeah, I meant to save it, I totally forgot till this second. But I'm gonna uh, be real. I've not seen um, any of the Dark Knight movies. Oh, really? So I've not. I'm not familiar. Like I know of Heath Ledger's Joker. I know it's phenomenal. I've not seen it. Um, it, it's a great movie. I love Heath, Ledger, Heath Ledger's Joker. I hate that it ended with a cliffhanger where he still like go, he just goes to an asylum. Um, yeah. Obviously, they meant they probably meant for him to be in the third movie. Because the third movie has all the the villains. Because they, they sell them let free in the third movie, not spoilers. But um, but uh, and of course Joker's not there because unfortunately Heath Ledger passed away. But um, it's it's a good movie. You should see it. Uh, I also love Heath Ledger, not just because of that movie. I love him. I actually don't really like him that much there because he's so not Heath Ledger. But I love him in Night's mm -hmm. Tale and like Ten Things I Hate About You and other movies like that. Um, so let's see. There's um. Oh, fucking the Scoops Ahoy costume. Like, this isn't a bootleg. I was trying to look at bootlegs. But Scoops Ahoy. Um, we went to, uh, we went to Long Beach Comic Con. I don't know if Wes is still in the chat there, but we went to Long Beach Comic Con a couple weeks ago. And fucking, there were, like, you know, I made that joke about the armies of Elsa's, like, running around everywhere. There were, like, yeah. armies of Scoops Ahoy employees. I swear to God, they could have opened a Scoops Ahoy there and they could have staffed that for, like, weeks. With the, with the number of people wearing the outfit. It was like, I couldn't believe it. And speaking of which, uh, weren't you like, uh, wait, were you two, uh, Ren, like uh, um, an extra in Stranger Things? I know yeah. Sylvia was. Yeah, me, Megan, and Sylvia did it. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, if you if you're, uh, if you want to play the spot, the spot Ren game, you could do that, of course. Um, on Stranger Things Season 3. It's funny because that scene... Yeah, good, good luck with that. Because yeah. uh, even the screenshots that Sylvia did send me, I'm like, uh... <laughs> I'll never find that on my own. That was my... I'm like, I would never have found that. But I, I went to go, um... 
I went to go. I already mentioned the story earlier when I went to go visit my brother and he was making the, the X Wing costume. He was also watching Stranger Things at some point, like the like uh, before he was making the costume. He was watching the the he was watching it for the first time. He's like, oh, I like the show. Whatever. He's just talking to me about it. And, and like before I go any further, I do have a lot of other friends who do like m- movie work. Actually, nobody I know who does extra work, but I know a lot of people do like movie work. And it just I'm always like, oh yeah, so and so my friends in this one, my friends in that, like Molly's in some really bad horror movies and so on. Um. Oh, fun. Yeah, my first thought was to mention, oh, I have some friends in this one who wear Stranger Things. And I was going to mention that. And I'm like, I don't even know where they're at. How am I going to tell my brother this? <laughs> I'm like, so they're somewhere in the pool. They're somewhere in the mall. And so on. Anyway. Yeah. I had a friend send me um, a clip of like me in the food court at the mall. And I'm like, how did you find me? <laughs> I can't even find me. That's like that's some dedication. That's like some legit like watching it like in 4K and like freezing every frame and zooming in and everyone in the background. Because I, I, I like I said I, I would never be able to because like even the pictures I have seen it's like dude that's just like that's I don't watch anything without level of detail. I think I watch most of Stranger Things three not actually watching it watching it. Like, it was in the background. Yeah. yeah, unless something big was happening. I was mainly, like, doing work and, like, oh, look, the music got louder. I should probably look at it. That kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love this because, I, I mean, this is an old one. I love the inflatable Godzilla. But my favorite one right here is the inflatable skeleton <laughs> di- Diplodocus? <laughs> Diplodocus? What's a Diplodocus? But, um, what the fuck is that? I mean, like, it, is that from Jurassic Park? It is all, like, Thing there, but no, I, 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 I don't think that's a thing. I want, I want, I want to. Uh, hold on, hold on. Can we Google? I'm kind of scared to Google. I'm also. Google history so fucked up. I don't need that. Google this. Diplodocus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The refined on. word. You're not refined. So much hustle. Oh my god, I can't spell. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little scared to see. Oh look, it is a dinosaur! I was a little scared because I didn't clear my search history before I did this, and I, I'm like, I, I actually don't look up anything like too obscene. I was just afraid what would come up when I started typing anything like D I. No, I'm just kidding. But um... <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just like an associated search thing. It's getting a little, it's getting a little yaoi up in here. But but I want to click on this dinosaur thong. Thongs, <laughs> thongs, dinosaur song. I got a list out of now. What the fuck? I'm gonna let's, let's move on. This, this wasn't the point. This wasn't the point. This wasn't the point to this. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Um. Yeah, that's not good. Oh god, I hate those those fucking T Rex costumes that are everywhere, the inflatable ones. They're uh, so annoying. I have a story. I have a story about this. I think everyone has a story okay. to tell yours. Alright, so the inflatable dinosaur. There was one time I, I was at work and we were like in the middle of doing something very important like I'm like Huh? Which job? That radio. My office job. My other job. <laughs> so like mind you, this is like an office and I work at like a startup type of thing, right? So like it's pretty busy every day. So I go over to my boss, who's, like, at his computer, like, really intently, like, looking, and I was like, oh, he might be in, like, a conference or something, like, I don't want to interrupt. So I go around the corner, and I'm like, you know, I finished doing all this work, I'm like, okay, hey, I've got all this paperwork, and he's watching him and the, like, second in command, since I'm, like, operations assistant, are watching these inflatable dinosaurs, like, it's a compilation video of them, like, running down the street doing weird stuff. Like, this is, like, What's 2 o'clock fuck? in the afternoon. Like, and I was like, uh, and he turns around, like, closes the computer, and he's like, oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, um, I don't know if I, like, well, then again, I'm, like, my, kind of my own boss, so I work anyway, so I guess nobody can really rag on me, but, like, um, if you ever see me send anyone memes or po- or shit posts, or I even send people some crazy-ass shit, like most mornings, or even especially if it's a weekend, like usually I work from like Thursday on. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm yeah. probably at work and I'm probably doing something I shouldn't <laughs> be doing. But, but yeah, I, I've been that person looking up stupid shit. Like I remember like a similar dinosaur story. You know, like I don't know his name, but that dinosaur does cocaine. It's like a puppet. 
And yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> on TikTok. Yes, I, I share. I, I share those all the time. Um, They're my favorite. I like how, like, of all the things I thought you were gonna be just proving of, you you agree with like the the cocaine dinosaur. <laughs> but, the cocaine dinosaur. Yes. Ren, are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> what? I just, I like, I like inanimate things doing things do that okay? they wouldn't do. <laughs> no, I understand. Dinosaur I understand. Because okay. there's the dinosaur, and then there's the dude with like the shark. Hand. Yes, who's always like. I the... love the. I think they did some cold lab videos, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly what happened, but they've done a couple, I think. But the, the I fucking, love those. That shark, he did that shriek, and I... Oh my god, I can't even do it. It's so, like, high-pitched and breathy. Uh, anyway, I love it, too. I'm just like... Anyway. I think there was one where he did cocaine, and he, like, dies. Oh my... Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. That's why I wouldn't scroll. I'm like, why are we stuck looking at fucking Harley Quinn? Um... Uh, wait, so wait. Why does Pennywise come with the Pennywise doggy? Oh, it's a, it's a dog costume. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You tried. Um, let's go to a different page. I don't know if you guys saw, but it said page one of 128, and I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The other day, I saw um, face sabers. Oh, I saw that over here. So what? <laughs> Face sabers, you know, lightsabers. Yeah, yeah. On the package, they were called space, space sabers. sabers. No, like my, <laughs> we um, but I think did have a lot of lights and stuff, so we didn't have like space sabers. But I, my favorite are like seeing. I, cause I, funny you mentioned Uncle Fester. I think we had a um. I think our, our Uncle Fester costume, maybe it's licensed now because they think it's like a new movie. But like when we had Uncle Fester back in the day, it was like Crazy Uncle. <laughs> it was like just Uncle Fester. <laughs> yeah, I think it was legitimately it's, called Crazy Uncle. It, it's funny because the the space sabers were right next to our licensed Star Wars. Oh, what the fuck? Then why do you guys have like space sabers? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, why do they go to baby costumes? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, just like a Winnie the Pooh and like all these like buntings. Um, fun fact, um, when I worked at Party City, there was, there was this person who came into the store one time and she was going on about how, um, she wanted to look for like, and this wasn't during Halloween, mind you. She wanted to see like these random costumes. So it's kind of unusual because somebody like, we had to find costumes for people who weren't, it was on Halloween, which doesn't happen, which happens, but it doesn't happen too often. And then uh, we get them, and it turns out she's the model for them. And um, fun fact, I, I didn't know this until she, she was mentioning it, that like when they go to model for them, they usually aren't wearing the costumes, or in some rare occasions they're wearing a couple of them, but a lot of other times they'll just put their head on someone else, like who isn't being paid to like do the model, or isn't paying kid as much, you know. That's so funny. So, like, whenever I look at some of these models, I'm like, yeah. what the hell? Like a hippie later. But. So let's look. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> We're doing a lot of stuff. I just. I just. <laughs> I'm not, well, I mean, it's legal in Colorado, so. I mean. Yeah. Hi. Are you guys doing the no, devil's no, lettuce? No, no. Okay, no. look, I'm the adult roommate who homebrews alcohol in buckets in our closets, and we just don't ask questions. Wait, wait, you homebrew alcohol? <laughs> that, is... that, that was a whole sentence. No, there, there's so much to unpack there. Is, is that, like, prison status? Like, you know, is that, like, bread in a bucket, and it's, like, very moldy, and, like... <laughs> no, no, it's not moldy. It's very nice, okay? <laughs> I use uh, filters, and it's all very clean. It, it just sounds like... This sounds like some prison, like, stuff that I, like... <laughs> You ever watch like it's like hard time or like you know like those National Geographic like prison documentaries <laughs> where they show like they show the alcohol they're making? Yeah, I like those moonshine shows where they show like the people out in the boonies like <laughs> arguing over moonshine and throwing guys, 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 it's us. not moonshine because it's not distilled. To distill it, I need a whole separate license. But I don't have that, so it doesn't get the stuff that just gets. Okay. Your people, like, yeah, your people are crazy. Like I thought that yeah. was bad. 
<laughs> this fun is just fact, where I live. No, fun fact. Um, before we did this podcast, I was like, because the last time we did one, we had the last time we had Ren. Actually, it wasn't the last time we had Ren on. When we had Ren on before, um, do you remember that Ren when you were on for an entire month straight? God, of course I remember. Fun fact: I call that the I call that the Renaissance. Like I don't know if I ever told you that term, but the, the, it's called the Renaissance. That's the way that's the way we refer to that period. Because after that, we had like a really bad period where we were like barely on. Um, but you were on for a month straight, and then one week you couldn't do it. And it's so funny. I mention this all the time. One week you couldn't do it. So rather than like, okay, cool, we'll ask you later. I just never asked you again. <laughs> like, ever we just moved on um that that was that wasn't like oh we're done with ren it would just it just slipped my mind and like i said we actually skipped a ton of weeks but um but i was funny i was thinking that the, one of the times we had you on was the very very infamous drunk podcast um which i have edited and i have uploaded it but i'm waiting like i actually have a schedule and i'm waiting and i think it'll be it'll be shown after halloween because we're not going to be live that weekend, so everyone can watch like a three-hour version as opposed to four. By the way, everyone can watch a three-hour <laughs> version of like we we still we tried even when we were drunk. We tried to come to to like talk about things, but um, I was thinking like we were gonna do like let's do that again. <laughs> so I actually, no! <laughs> so I actually no fun fact. I actually got a bottle of Dragonberry rum, but I was like let's do this again. <laughs> and the only reason I didn't bring it up till this second was because I I didn't put the I put the bottle behind you guys can't see it I'm pointing to it I just really can't see me at all but I put it behind my backdrop and like I literally have to crawl under it which I've done before but I'd have to crawl under it to go get it. actually I couldn't do it now because it's like wires behind it because of the lights um it'd be very difficult so I'd have to crawl under it or move it and risk everything falling um so I just didn't get it but uh. I, I don't think that was a good idea. It's not a good idea. It probably was a good idea to do it even the first time, but uh, I don't think it's definitely a good idea to get it done tonight. So I'm glad we did it. Um, yes. Fun fact. I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Dark time. Did, did you have a bad time the next day? That that was the best. No, I'm just embarrassed that I hardly remember any of it. <laughs> I don't even think you've watched it back. Like there's stuff that like I have. I've watched some of it. <laughs> My favorite part, which by the way is included, so everyone gets to watch that if they want, like in a couple weeks, was when you were like you were singing. I, I said it was a joke. I got up to go to the bathroom and to get. I actually think I have to get ice and other stuff because I, I didn't go to the bathroom. But I got up and I'm like sing while I'm gone. I said that as a joke, but as soon as I left, you're like, I guess I'm going to sing. So you started singing, but nobody could hear the music. So, like, you're just singing a cappella. <laughs> oh, God. And it's so funny. And, like, I come, and, and, like, mind you, like, you, you went off for a good, like, minute and a half. Like, it wasn't a short thing. And then you were like, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. And then I came back right when you were done. And I'm like, what, what happened? What did I miss? You're like, nothing. And I just moved on. So I, I didn't even see it myself <laughs> until the editing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't even know that it happened. So, I'm yeah. so sorry for me. <laughs> anyway, fun fact. I, I went to Spooky Costumes or whatever the fuck I was looking at. And what the fuck's going on with this boy, Eyeless Jack morph, morph suit? <laughs> Who is Eyeless Jack? <laughs> Maybe it's a creepy pasta. Yeah, is it? Is that like what's that, that guy? I really what's that creepy pasta? I really hate the the guy who's like all white face who like bleached himself or some shit like that. What's his name? Um, I'm looking up this eyeless Jack. Oh yeah, he's a he, he's a creepy pasta. Is he? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> By the way, I'm thinking about Jeff the Killer. Does no pasta. does no one know Jeff the Killer? Oh, uh, we the, saw Jeff the Killer mask. What really? Yeah. That's a scream. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't know creepy who who's licensing these? Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they've also got like the rake and uh who else? Obviously Slenderman. Yeah. Well Slenderman you can license now because they made that whole movie, so I imagine he's got something now. Well it's funny you bring that up. I don't think the person who wrote the story has a license. I think that they somehow yeah. argued that it's public domain because, like, it's been spread around so much. So I'm like, I think anyone True. could just make Slenderman it's shit. Which is poor, poor. Well, no, we actually, yeah. we have um, a costume that it's clearly Slenderman, but it's not named Slenderman. Like, it's a... Skinny boy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think it might be like Slender Man. No, that's <laughs> Slender Man. Is <laughs> 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 Slender Man again? <laughs> I don't think anyone caught that. Ren legit was like, it's, but it's not called Slender Man. It's called something like um, Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, move on. No, move on. The real <laughs> no, and it, The <laughs> best part was like she legit looked like she had stopped to think about it very carefully. She's like Slender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the I wish you had thought of each word separately and so <laughs> how did you do that the real slim shady I don't know oh fish my, my, oh my. <coughs> I'm like dying here oh my god oh. I just asked the- <laughs> I think I think this- how beautiful I think this uh this one right here that this this vampire costume I think was like I don't think it was an adult size I wore because you know I, I, true uh, vampire I think that was the same <laughs> was a true what's a true vampire is that from like a show but I think that it looked the costume I had that I mentioned in past podcasts that I wore like for most of my childhood life until it fell apart looked just like this but a kid version because it had the same like inside out looking cape and then that vest was like the exact same vest this was like one piece and it was like you know. Oh yeah, that, that ch- the the undershirt and the little handkerchief thing was all like one piece. What the fuck? That? Wait, wait, how do I leave this page? I actually clicked on it. Um, oh, I had to go all the way back down. I was so far. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, hit, I hit show all, so I, that was like really far down. Don't don't let me. There's actually a button that says quick view. That I, I I thought I clicked that lets you just look at it like as a little extra window. Um, oh, you can like control F to true vampire. That probably would have been faster. See, here's an adult version of Eyeless Jack. I want to wait till the loads here, but um, I've never heard of Eyeless Jack. By the way, we talked about creepy pastas last week. Are you a fan of creepy pastas, Ren? Um, to an extent, I don't like actively read them or anything. But like, if one shows up, I, I'll read it. I might enjoy it. Um, cause like we talked about it last week that like I didn't know this until like literally like this year like I was watching a lot of videos on the topic especially because of Halloween recently that a lot of people don't like creepypastas I didn't even know that oh my god it popped oh. up again it popped up again <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think anyone saw that cause like nobody was looking but me it le- legit just like it like jump scared me it like scrolled like this out of the side <laughs> it, it actually moved there it didn't just it didn't just appear what the fuck? That's so scary. That's it's like, part, oh my god, it, there's no X. How do I get off of this? What are you thinking? Oh my god, god it's like it's like stuck there. Has jump scares. I think I oh, wait, so that's, oh dude, that's a shady. Hold on, I think I saw that. Hold on, the X. Do you see it? It's hidden. It's in the corner, but you can't see it. Oh, that's shady. Wait, where is it? I, I can't see it anymore. I only saw it. Cause I, <laughs> Look at that! Look, look, look how shady that is! It was <laughs> hidden! I had to highlight it! Um... But no, I didn't know creepypastas were in, uh, that, like... I, I'm a huge fan of, like, the, cre- the creepypasta, like, readings channels. Well, some of them. There's actually a ton of them. Most of them suck. But, like, uh... Mr. Creepypasta, like, creep... No, creepypasta! Is that creep- no, Clancy Pasta! Clancy Pasta! That's the guy's name. He's one of my oh, favorites. Okay. Creepypasta is cool. Yeah. Oh, Creepy Pasta is okay. Um, Mr. Creepy pa- Well, they're not so much Creepy Pasta readers, but it's like Mr. Nightmare and like Corpse Husband. They they mean they read more of the Reddit stuff. Um, they're really cool too. Reddit, but I think Mr. Creepy Pasta has been. I think is going to AWA this year, Rant. I don't know if you even knew that. But uh, I, don't I, don't, knew- I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> You're like whatever. <laughs> You know, like I, I follow. There's an artist I follow, and she will sometimes illustrate and uh, read creepy pastas. I'll just send it to you. Yeah. And so I like watching those, and then like I like watching like the original like Marble Hornets videos. But I don't like go out of my way to sit down and listen or read. Well, I don't either. It's it's more of my background noise and my um, what's the word, um. I go to sleep with them, like, a lot. Like, it sounds weird. But I put them on, like, as background noise to go to sleep. 
there's this corpse husband one that like I don't know if you guys know Angie like she's if anyone knows watching doesn't know Angie she's another person with the Nita J there's a lot of the idol stuff with us um she showed me and she also streams apparently that's like her big thing right now she's like this relatively big streamer these days like um on Twitch and whatever else but anyways um she shared she shared me this particular video by corpse husband about like the search and rescue like squad people it's like three hours long and like I, I've heard that so many times I really think I can recite the first like 30 minutes like by memory that's how long I, that's how many times I've heard it it's ridiculous I hate that, I hate that. <laughs> this is fucking Diplodonis again, but um, <laughs> um oh, who's Laughing Jack? Who the fuck? Laughing. That's another creepy boss, though. I'm pretty sure Laughing Jack. Is there an entire like fucking Weston said how he thinks most of them are public domain? Well, not all of them are fan fiction. Like, I don't think any of them. I think most of the big ones aren't. Like, I mentioned the Bart's the Bart's dead one, which is very like all over the place, and I mentioned um, yeah fuck what's the other one like, I don't know if you guys ever heard that one about the, the Mickey that was it I forgot the, the Disney the, the abandoned Disney park that's a spooky Mickey in it um, yeah um, that's another really famous one both of those would definitely be fan fiction because they have licensed characters but I think all the others just made up bullshit so I'm surprised that they're not that they're um, that, that so many of them are, cons- are considered public domain <coughs> I think it's because the writers <clears throat> Uh, the writers yeah and then the the original writer of it i mean like now there's like a whole bunch of spinoffs of it so it's like who even started it at this point well because yeah it, it's a definite case that somebody has to protect their copyright early on and they just did it here's uh here's slender man yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I keep thinking about ren it's like it's called something else though like like <laughs> slender man <laughs> oh, no man. more words oh god but yeah Oh, it's actually a really creepy uh, headless horseman costume. I wish I look how oh, glittery that, that is. That's, that's le- cool. That's pretty legit. If if anyone like is watching this on YouTube that has like kids, oh, it's even in stock. Let me like look at this. Go go to Party City and get this. I'm endorsing. Oh God, what I click on? It's like if it, like for some of you to see that it's clicked, but like now it's just oh fucking hell. It's the curse of the headless horseman. It's Sonico coming after my ass. <laughs> Um, Maybe said you warned you this just the other night. <laughs> what the fuck? It didn't even do anything. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> it told you to get out and you kept bothering it. Oh, it's out of stock. Oh. Uh. Well, that would make sense. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> oh my god. I remember. This is such a terrible story. I don't know if I should tell it. Um. Uh, when I worked at Party City, uh, we used to have a lot of like. Um, well, we, we would hire like 45, no exaggeration, like 45-ish to 60 or so uh, employees um, just for Halloween, like a crazy amount. And the whole idea is when you hire that many, about 10 of them will just never show up. Like, it's, it's ridiculous because you hire so many people, just like you literally just, just take them off an application, just hire them. And um, a ton of them, ne- you, you basically you don't have time to hire that many people if you're weeding through them because you have to like interview them and the process takes like a half hour plus so you have to just like hire you're hired you're hired if you're called in you're hired um unless you do something really stupid to the interview um so most of them never show up and then some of them never last to halloween so you have all these employees so my point is a lot of them are like not that great of people because you don't actually know them um mm-hmm. so there'd be fights every one time like when i when i first started there ish there was um uh, this sounds terrible. I also tell the story. So we live in an area that has like, you know, certain that is on the cusp of places that have a lot of gang problems. So they were like people from like rival gangs who were like working at the store. And like they would get in fights in the store, like in the stock room. It was so obnoxious. I remember like trying to manage the back room. Like, Hi. No, no, exactly. And it's like it's sounded like a joke. I don't want to belittle it. But it was like, guys, guys, wait till we're done. <laughs> like just get the damn costumes. Because um if you've never been to Party City before, the way the costume thing works so fast is somebody like, I don't think they have the numbers here on the website, but each costume has a number like, you know, 791-1140, whatever the fuck. Somebody calls it to the back and then someone in the back goes to get it. And um, it, it's the people in the back who are just like literally punching each other. The whole system breaks down. And it's like, guys, guys. Well, anyways, I remember like, 
Because I remember, like, one day they were really fighting. And it's like, guys, wait till we're done. Like, fucking fight when we're closed. I don't fucking care. Just, like, we gotta fucking get this done. And so, uh, <laughs> so, they stopped, the <laughs> so they stopped fighting. And, uh, flash forward to the end of the night. And we had, like, we, we still had, we had an abundance of them. I don't know where they came from. They were there before I was hired there. And they were there when I left. We had hundreds and hundreds of dance sticks, the dance, dance poles. I don't know what you call them. Like, you know, a black pole that's like white tips, like a cane, dance cane, that's what they are. And like, we oh, yeah, so yeah, a baton. Yeah, we had so many of those, tons of them. And they were like wood, though. And they were like pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, they're pretty sure they don't sell them like that anymore because like these were old as fuck even when I was there. But so the flash was the last day. And the, one of the guys who was like, <laughs> I'll tell this story. I'll tell this part afterwards. But he was clearly the more aggressive of the two. He walks up behind the other guy who's putting his costumes away, like the go backs for the rest of the night. He walks behind him and just smacks him across the back with this fucking dancer pole thing, and it breaks on his back. And the guy, is, the guy for some reason doesn't get mad and start fighting. He's just like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "What did you do that for?" And he just gets up, and I to, I'm like, "Oh my god!" I have to call a hospital, I have to call the police. He's like, "What the fuck?" And the guy, the guy just throws the broken stick. That's like, "We're even, bro." And he walks out. And I was like, "What the fuck?" And it gets better. No joke. They stopped fighting after that. So I don't know if they just needed to, like, he needed a stick broken over his back. He needed to break a stick over his back. And we hired the brake sticking guy, the guy who, who broke the stick over the guy. We we kept him for several years. <laughs> and he became, like, a manager. Like, not, like a ma not the store manager, but he became a manager at a different store. <laughs> and I don't know if my, because, like, I don't know if, because I, I wasn't hired that high up. So I don't know if the people above me ever knew this story. So, like, um, and whenever I would see him, I'm like, dude, that guy, that guy almost killed some guy. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, what's going to happen? I'm like, it legit looked like he wanted to kill him. Anyway, that's a really long aside. I'm sorry. But, um, anyway, <laughs> has that happened at your store, Ren? No. <laughs> Ren's just like, no, like, we're, we're not, we're not ridiculous. Uh, um, I mean, we had, we had like a kid walk out, but then he like a call, called and apologized and like, that's it. Oh my god, we have people stealing their left and right. That's what we're talking about. Like, uh, <laughs> that's the whole, that's this topic for We have people who would just legitimately fill up a cart full of stuff. Like, even Costco, they would just order them from the back and they just put them in the cart and they literally just walk out the store. What? Yeah. <laughs> they just do not care. Yeah, like, and it wasn't even like they would look to see if anyone was looking or they would wait. Because we didn't have like a door greeter or we, um, we had security the first couple years I worked there, but we didn't even have any security. Um, and like, and we used to have a turnstile there, so you had to like walk through it. You couldn't just leave without walking past the the like the registers. But um, by the end, we had an open floor plan. I also describe it, which we open, and um, so like they would just load it up and walk out. That was it. And it wow. was like, and it was, and they would do it so assuredly. Half the time we wouldn't even notice until we were probably like watching the cameras back. To, oh shit! They just straight up just you know just walked out. <laughs> <coughs> um. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, um, I did. Uh, we have this guy get really upset over the fact that we stopped taking returns. Oh my god! Because uh, we stopped on the 18th. Yeah. We stopped taking returns, and we only take exchanges now. And so he comes back in to try to return this bottle of blood. Like it's <laughs> just a bottle of blood. It's like maybe four dollars. And he is, like, angry. Angry. Like, he is yelling. He is swearing. I'm like, I'm not even taking care of him. I'm just behind the counter doing stuff and listening to all of this. And I'm like, we still can't take it back. <laughs> no matter how angry you get, there's nothing to be done, sir. No, I used to have to deal with that kind of shit all the time. People would get so... And, like, it depends on the situation. Usually I would just, like... I would almost enjoy it because it would, like, change things up. Especially during Halloween. Because um, there were so many people there that, like, if somebody was, like, yelling at me or whatever, like that, I could just, like... Well, at least I'm not to deal with anyone else. So I'll just, like, take it there for a minute. And I'm like, that's nice. But we still can't take the return. Because <laughs> we had a very similar policy. Um... That you couldn't... Uh, that, you know, because I passed the point. Because obviously people would wear a costume and return it. 
Um, uh-huh. Outside yeah. of Halloween, like when I mentioned that person who bought the costumes that had her 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 like her likeness on them, outside of Halloween, I would have to say at least like eighty percent of the people who bought costumes, they would buy it for their kid for like their birthday party, and then mm-hmm. return it. Um, because we had a much more obvious li- liberal return policy outside of Halloween, um, and there wasn't much we could do about it. Like at that point, but like Halloween, it's like come on. My favorite was people would come after Halloween. It, it, like they don't even come in the window. They legitimately come like November first, and I'm like, bro, come on. Like, yeah. Oh man, uh, I was on fitting rooms the other day, and um, I, I normally don't really mind doing fitting rooms. And so um, th- I'm up front, and this uh, little family comes over and asks me if they can have a fitting room. And I'm like, oh, sure. And I notice the kid has a Fortnite costume, but it's the adult size. And I'm like, oh, um, you know, if you want, we also have that costume in kid sizes, and it comes with more than just the jacket like the adult one does. And he just ignores me. What the fuck? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Take them back to the fitting room. Um... But there had been girls back there waiting already, so I had to let them go first. And there were three of them, and we only have three fitting rooms. And so the little family had to wait for a bit. And, like, this woman was so impatient. Like, she's not even the one trying on the costume. She's just waiting for her kid to try it on. And she's like, are they done yet? I'm like, does it look like they're done yet? (laughs) They look like they're done. (laughs) They would be out here. If they were done. Anyway, and she's just going on and on and on. And then finally, one of them comes out, and we have, you know, like, a way we do things. Like, I take the costume, I pull them out of the packaging, keep the accessories, and give them the costume. She just goes in. Like, the girl comes out, and, like, she's been watching me, like, put things away, take things out for other people. She knows how it works, but no. They just go in, and I'm like... "Uh, I don't get paid enough to care. <laughs> <laughs> so they go in, and um, I, so I'm waiting. They try it on, and um, oh, while while they had been waiting, her older son comes over with, like, just a Fortnite mask, and he was like, hey, I want, like, just this mask. Like, that's it. It's just a mask. And she looks at it, and she's like, $25? That's too expensive. And kind of, like, throws the mask on the counter, and he's like, oh, okay, I'll put it back then, and she yanks it, like, no, you're gonna get this mask. And what the fuck? Like, okay. So anyway, the kid tries it on, it's obviously too big, because it's an adult costume, and, you know. So anyway, um, and instead of handing it back to me, because, like, they didn't want it, they're like, they just, they just take it with them, don't really say anything to me. And, like, no more than two minutes later, my manager comes over and is like, oh, hey, um, there's a, a costume on the floor over there. Can you pick it up? I'm like, oh, yeah, because it's right next to the fitting rooms. And I go over. It's the fucking Fortnite. It's the fucking costume. <laughs> oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> so same family comes back a few minutes later with a different Fortnite costume. And this one has a mask in it. And so he goes, because cause the older brother got a mask, so the kid's like, I want a mask too. Huh? Goes in to try it on, and while um, his mom is waiting, I'm like, oh, if he liked the first costume, uh, we have it in kid sizes, and it comes with a mask as well. And she's like, I don't care. And I was like, oh, so, so hostile during the holidays. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine, too. What is wrong with people? So, yeah, that was fun. There was that. And then there was the woman who got really mad that we didn't sell sideburns. Like, we have mustaches and beards, but not just sideburns. And that was somehow my fault. You can use a mustache as a sideburn. Exactly, I was going to say, like... I know, I'm like, cut it in half, use it as sideburns. Boom. It's not that big of a deal. Why get mad at you? What other perfect response? We've, uh... Sideburns, literally rip over the packaging of a fake mustache, cut it in half. That's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she just said. That's what she just said. <laughs> just rip open the package and be like, <laughs> make sideburns. Steal it. <laughs> just steal the package. Steal, steal an item. No, but the, that was usually my thing too. Like, 
like I mentioned, people walking out with the cards. Fun fact: if you ever, no, don't do it because you're, you're you'd be a shitty person. Uh, don't be that person. But like, I'm just <laughs> saying, fun fact: if you ever, if for some reason you did, uh, or if you case you're, actually better way to phrase it, in case you're wondering what we usually did, it was usually nothing. Not even like obviously, our policy was to do nothing anyway. But usually, yeah. it was it was nothing anyway. I'm like, dude, I I don't care. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like my favorite, you know, like the the retail thing when they're like, oh, I'm never coming back here again. My, my first response is always, Good. thank you. Yes. It's like, thank you for that. You made my day by telling me you were never coming back again. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't... I, yeah. I don't know. Like, for most things, I don't really, like, care because I'm like, I, I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah. Like, it, this is a seasonal job. Who cares? But if if I could see someone stealing, I'm a snitch. Yeah, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. If like, I'm like, beep, boop, 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 hey. <laughs> no, if, if we're in the, if we're so walking around and somebody, service. yeah, if somebody, like, somebody, if somebody dead? yeah, if somebody's like shoving shit in their purse, obviously, then we're like, oh, everyone, like, jump on them and like, don't don't leave them alone. You know, kind of kind of bullshit. Yeah. Or like, so yeah, like that's another story. But if if if, if they're already gone, it's like you be. You got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna go chase after their asses. <laughs> um, I will. <laughs> I will never. It, it, it's funny you bring up the fitting room situation because I party city we only we only ever had two, and there were times we only had one, and um, <clears throat> and so it always led to a bottleneck bottleneck issue, and yeah. um, you know how many times people like parents would strip their kids like naked and change them just off to the side. Like, just like, and like, uh, and uh, that sounds terrible to say strip them naked, but I'm not exaggerating. I mean, like, they're in their underwear, like, you know, yeah. and they'd just be like straight up like this kid who's like in his underwear. The kid, half the time the kids don't care. The other half, the poor kid is embarrassed as fuck, you know, <laughs> and like, and I don't mean this is an empty area. Like, there's like, <laughs> there's probably like 50, pe- 50 other people around. There's a line for the fitting room and, and like, usually, you, and it gets worse usually when the first mom does it. It emboldens at least one other to do it too. <laughs> it's like then you have like just you know kids in costumes everywhere. You can't you, you can kind of try to tell them to stop, but they're gonna do it anyway. Because if they're willing to strip their kid naked in the store, they're not gonna listen to you. They're not gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Like, okay, I won't. But I'm gonna be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's something that like drives me absolutely insane is people who just like go through especially like with our gloves and like tights and stuff they'll just like open things and then throw them everywhere and i'm like in what store what store would you do this in like would you go to the grocery store and open the box of cap and crunch and <laughs> throw it? like where else would you do this so why would you think it's okay to do it here I've actually seen someone do that at the grocery store before, <laughs> but but it was a vengeful employee that we had fired. <laughs> he came back. We uh, but what was funny because it was actually during Halloween. So I post like it's actually funny because I had the exact same argument that Ren had, and it was during a Halloween, and we had we had a shopping center that was shared with the Walmart grocery store. Uh, I don't know if you even have those, but it's a grocery store that's like it's a Walmart, but it only sells groceries. So yeah, yeah. So um. We, I go, I go, went in there a lot for like lunch to buy like food and stuff like that. So I went in there, and like in the in like the snack area, there were like a box of each of like the hostess like you know like cakes like cupcakes you know uh, Twinkies whatever, and they had been ripped open. I don't think anyone had stolen anything. I think they just ripped them open to look at them, and it was like it happens at other stores. It happens at other stores. And that was like my first thought. And I was like, "Who does? Who did this? Like, like, like I said, I'm pretty sure. I, like, I can't really tell the story. Like, a kid probably did it. The mom's like, "Don't do that," and they just left the boxes there because, like, as far as I could tell, they were all in there. It was like, a, like I want to steal a Twinkie, uh, which they sell individually anyway if they want really want to steal any of that stuff. But then they just ripped them all open. Like, what's in here? <laughs> you know? Oh yes, it does have eight Twinkies. You know? <laughs> just, just I don't believe them. <laughs> I remember, I remember when Twinkies went. This is a huge deviation. I remember when Twinkies went. It has to do with Party City, though. I remember when Twinkies went, and like you know, when Hostess disappeared. Yeah, um, yeah, they went extinct for that period of time. Yeah, we had um, we had this employee, and no exaggeration. Like I, I, I think he still works there. Funny enough, um, he was like he always had the the shady hookups. Like I know how to put it. I don't mean drugs. He probably had that too, but I mean like, like if if you needed something fixed on the down low on the cheap, if you needed like a cheap whatever, if you needed somebody to get you like you know something 
downloaded like a like a, a shady pro- whatever it doesn't matter anything <laughs> like anything and of course when hoses appeared no he had black market twinkies and i just remember he was like he was like slinging them all over fucking like uh party city like he's bringing like anyone some twinkies he was like you know ten dollars a box twenty dollars a box what the fuck he was charging and we all bought like our his black market twinkies that i don't know where he got them from but <laughs> but it was legit and I, remember, I was excited because I, I, like, I had like bought a bunch of like the hostess stuff, like everyone did, but I didn't have Twinkies because like nobody had those, but he had them somehow. And uh, yeah, did, did you do you remember that Ren, the the hostess debacle where they disappeared for like six months? It wasn't even that long. We all went no, crazy for nothing. It was like a year. Maybe I I'll like, be dramatic. <laughs> I don't like Twinkies. It's funny. So. It's funny you say that because I don't either. I didn't like them before. I didn't like them after. It was just because <laughs> they were gone. <laughs> like, I've it was had- funny because I remember when the Twinkies like disappeared. <clears throat> I lived in Hawaii, so we had got like the last shipment of Twinkies because obviously everything's like imported essentially. Yeah. So like, my friend was like, "We have like the last boxes of Twinkies. Like these are the last Twinkies on this." <laughs> Do you have a giant case of Rice Krispie treats? I got two of them. Oh, that's another one back there. It's like a giant, like Costco size forty, like package thing of Rice Krispie treats. What the fuck? That's insane. This is the other one. I like the way she crawled over to it. It looks like one of those like twenty four cases, of, like soda. I know. Like, the twelve can. <laughs> Oh my god. It's funny because when, um, I actually love Rice Krispie Treats. I remember one time I made those. Like, I didn't know how to make them, and I made a, a rest, made them out of a recipe, like, way too big when I was a kid. It's like ASMR eating. Sorry. <laughs> like, mmm. no, put it back down. It's, it'll get us all the views. <laughs> the the timestamp, it's like ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I made Rice Krispie treats, and I remember like I made them out of an entire box of Rice Krispies, and there were so many. And I remember like I told the story in a past podcast. I don't remember why I told the story, but um, I made a bunch of them, and they tasted so bad. Like I just like, I was gonna throw them all away. This is like stale. But I guess they had a cool period, and I just didn't know this because like I remember like I told my friend he could have them all, and he was like, "This sounds like a funny joke, or not funny joke. It's like I'm like being." Uh, exaggerating a bit, but he was like quasi homeless at the time. So when I gave him all these tw- all these uh, rice krispie treats, he's like, "Oh my god, I got all these rice krispie treats!" He's just eating them, and then he's like, "They're so good." And I'm like, "Oh, he's just saying that because he's like he, he's like you know hungry probably." But then he kept eating them and eating them. I'm like, can I have some of that? I need to try because this is like shit yesterday. So I had some. I'm like, what the fuck? These are the best things I've ever eaten. And I was I tried to get them back from him. He never gave them back. And uh, that was the one and only time I ever made rice krispie treats myself. That that was all that point of that story. Dude, but when um there was one uh, there was one time that me and Megan and Sylvia went to the beach together in Florida. Um, sorry. <laughs> when we went sh- when we went shopping for groceries, they had like just a giant oh. block of Rice Krispies, and I'm like, it's Rice Krispie time. <laughs> Did you so actually buy it? Oh my god. So we bought the giant block of rice crispy and it came like next to it and the like display thing was a thing of with like frosting. So we got the frosting with the sprinkles and the rice crispy treat, brought it home, and the frosting was blue and had like little like fishy sprinkles. So we made like a little beach on oh the rice crispy treat with the fish sprinkles, and that was all we ate. We we ate Rice Krispies for the whole trip, and afterwards, I'm like, I cannot eat another Rice Krispie. That was for like, I, I think it was like a whole year that I went with eating another Rice Krispie treat. Well, I would too. This sounds this sounds obnoxious. Oh my god, Weston mentions deep fried Twinkies in the chat. Um, I actually have had a deep fried Twinkie only once in my life. I liked it though. Don't get me wrong, but um. I haven't had them enough to really uh, know them. I keep I keep telling myself I'm going to make some. Um, I mentioned the Twinkie thing. I don't actually like Twinkies. I haven't eaten a Twinkie, no exaggeration, maybe like five years. Um, I think, yeah. I think, like I said. Yeah. I think the same. Yeah. <laughs> When they disappeared, obviously I went crazy for them and bought black market ones. And then when they came back, 
I bought like a couple more thinking I would like, oh, I'll, I'm not taking these for granted for the rest of my life. And then after a week or two, I was like, oh yeah, I don't like these. <laughs> like I like them. I think I kind of liked them when I was a kid. I don't mean like them, like them. I like the cupcakes, but um, but I I don't think I ever like except when I was a kid and you know kids like anything that's like covered in sugar. But um, I don't know. I, I was never a huge fan. Yeah, Twinkies are like one of the only <laughs> Hershey treats that I don't like. Are you petting your cat like virtually or like you know in? in... Yeah, that's the best. Oh my god, Nala, Nala, quit licking, Nala. She goes. She don't care about you. <laughs> she looked for a second. I know. She's like, what? I don't care. Oh my god. So, anyways. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. It's great. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, I, I've also gotten rescue pieces Halloween candy a couple times. Like the really small, like not they're not fun size, but you know, like the a smaller package than that. You know what I'm saying? Like about half that size in a little close enclosed package. Mm-hmm. I've gotten those several times as Halloween candy, or like one. Yeah. But yeah, like speaking. Speaking of um, Halloween stuff, have you seen my TikTok that I made of the spooky makeup? No, I saw I saw your pictures of it, but I didn't watch a TikTok of it. Is it? Or is yeah. it still up? Well, of course it's oh, still up. It, it's got it's it is up and it's got fifty one thousand views. Oh shit! Who who are? <laughs> wait, is there a link to it? Because I don't feel like fucking around the internet. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Cause you're lazy. And I already have a. Oh shit, that's the wrong thing. What is this? Oh, fucking! I'm like Sylvia shares something from Grandia too. Um, so I try to go to Twitter and look for it. Okay, let me find this. Let me do this. No. Oh. Uh, um, Fesh, did you see Mariko got married? And like Odd Town and all of them were there. It was really cute. Oh. oh no! Hold on. Oh my god! Hold on, let me um, let me get this loaded up. Go to her Instagram. No, it's actually kind of funny because when I first started showing it, oh shit! Oh my god! Okay. My thing came undone in the back, so now it's being held up only by my earphones. But it's fine. Um, let me get this going for that. Let me go back to the other screen because that'll be easier. Wait, where is the other screen? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Sorry, guys. Everyone saw saw like my, my fucking browser window. I like the, whatever destiny on the side. Let's watch this. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it looks even creepier. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Get, get rid of it. Get, get rid of it. We could just keep playing in the background so you can watch it like a hundred more times. That makeup looks creepier. For some reason, okay, I thought a lot more of it was an effect, like a filter. I didn't realize it was that. And that's the that's the part I'm actually really, really like, you know. <laughs> we just play it in silence. <laughs> Wait, how do I get back to this? Oh, see, I hate because I, I can see the mouse floating when it's on a window, but then it's floating on the wrong window. Hold on, screen sharing my screen. You guys could see that I was looking at Jeff the Killer. Hold on, how do I? Okay, there it goes. You guys can still see it, but there it goes. <laughs> I always, I'm always wary about like cause we did this. We, we um, for those that don't know, it's actually kind of on the DL. Um, I do a lot of gaming streams on, on different channels, but um, usually as a guest of a friend's channel, but I also do some of my own. But um, we do some Scribbly EO things a couple times, and I think we did one A to J's thing, which <laughs> went so bad. I swear to God, we were going we to get kicked off of Twitch because we were like doing all these like lewd like drawings and whatever. Yeah, the person who... Okay, it's funny because Ren's looking at me, but for once, it wasn't my choice. We had somebody else did the words... And we got, we, we were taking shots. We were taking a shot every time, like, you know, we took shots like every time. It was a word. And, um, and we got like wasted. Ha- we got wasted like three words in, but all the words were like really bad. 
like you know like words i won't even repeat because i'm not about first of all ren would judge me but the second of all um they'd probably get us banned like banned i'm surprised we didn't get banned the only reason i swore we didn't get banned because it was only a few people watching and the people who were watching were actually just having a good time too but it's never going on youtube i even google i even checked youtube's guidelines but <laughs> like to make sure we couldn't but it still falls on like the same reason you can't show like hentai games like the some of the shit we drew it's like i can't believe we did that like what were we thinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah D- don't don't be us D- don't don't uh D- don't be don't 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 loot and make ren upset with you but anyway should probably start wrapping this up uh the party city thing even though we did have some fun with that more of a stories i feel like the costume thing was a bust like, i should i should have i should have googled them not google i should have like pulled them up before but there's so yeah. many that like we didn't get to see it was just the site so hard to navigate there's like thousands and thousands of costumes you need to know what you want to be. There's no. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and not only that, but like, I, I kind of like. I don't know if you guys. I was scrolling through while we were talking about other stories and trying to like find other stuff that I was missing, but like everything sold out. And I think they have the site organized in a way that they try to like, you know. Um, I mean, of course they do, but they have it like you're not gonna find like the fun shit on page one. I probably should have went back and then went forward. Well, now, now that I have that idea, I wish I thought about that before we started, because that probably would have been yeah. the more interesting way to find the bootleg. I'm pretty sure it would have been at the end, not at the beginning. I'm sure oh, they curate it. We got a Dalmatian diva. Is that like Cruella? D- Dog napping diva. No, because there's so many. Like, I remember we had a Frozen bootleg one for a while that was like, you know, uh, I think it was called uh, Ice Princess, something like that, you know? Yeah, Ice Princess is common, and oh, we've got Malicious Queen. Yes, that that one we've had for a long time because uh, we had that one before there was even a Maleficent movie. Like, that was just this evil Snow White. I mean, evil yeah. Snow White, but that was just the mm. evil character. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. That yeah, they yeah. just sold that costume like before. Uh, before there was a, a her standalone movie, or maybe it was new and we hadn't been licensed yet. But um, and there there are countless Power Ranger bootlegs too. It's like Ninja, like I guess like it's so, so basic. Even there is a Ninja Warrior, but like Ninja Warrior, and it's like Power Ranger, you know, Blue Ninja, yeah. and it's like a Blue Power Ranger. Um, fun fact: the Power Ranger costume is always the bane of our existence because um. We kept the mask separate from the costume. You have to get those separately when you purchased it. Mm-hmm. And either they would forget to get the mask because they didn't know it was coming separately. Because um, we had them in a box like, just for the masks. And we would give it to them. Or come the Red Ranger, because those, those like, or the, whatever the Ranger is, we'll say Red for basic basic case. Um, the costume changes every year or almost every year. There's like, you know, one year is Thunder Force, next year is Ninja Storm, next year is whatever the mm-hmm. fuck. And inevitably, those ma- those masks get mixed up, and uh, we don't we give the wrong one out, or sometimes the people want the wrong one. Um, they're like, "Oh, you still <laughs> have a ninja, whatever the fuck? I want that one instead." And it's like, "Oh." And then some Halloween person gives it out. But it's like, no, it's like now we have a fucking old ass ninja storm costume we're never going to sell now, you know. And that's the kind of shit that you never find out until you're looking for it, because you because uh-huh. you don't inventory them separately. So uh, you never find out until like you're trying to find that mask. It's like, oh, it's just not here. And it's like we could, and then the problem exasperates itself because then another employee will give them the new one, and I'm like, well, now that one's missing the mask. Yeah. I'm like, what you should do was just say, no, we don't have it. Take it back and either sell it to them cheaper or throw it away, you know, or something. Because like, mm-hmm. like stop the problem now. <laughs> don't just don't stop just the cycle. It. Yes, don't just kick it down the road until <laughs> like the ne- so each person has to keep dealing with this. Anyways, that's my um, party city rant. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're going to do next week for Halloween. I think we just think like, fun. we might do a script of the EO thing, but not lewd. Because I want to do a game. And, and nobody wants to do fucking Ouija board things with me. I also found a tarot card <laughs> reading one, and nobody wants to do that either. And I'm like. Uh, tarot, tarot card's not bad. I do tarot readings. I have cards right there. When I was a kid, I used to do tarot readings. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like,. It sounds funny, but I actually barely remember it. I can't tell you anything specific about, like, if I thought I was good or whatever. But I actually had several, several decks. And, like, you know, I had, like, special, like, I, I knew a bunch of different layouts. Like, you know, like, spreads or whatever the fuck you called them. And um, I had, like, different sheets and things I would use. And anyways, um, it's funny because, like, apparently a lot of people do that, too. Like, I started mentioning that I found a tarot thing. And, like, the, I told you earlier I was testing out the Ouija board thing with a friend. 
when I mentioned the tarot thing to her, she was all like, "Oh, I could do that for you, like on the thing, you know, on the podcast." <laughs> That's why I yeah. Made her and I was like, "Oh, everyone's down with tarot." Fucking um, bring up a Ouija board, and everyone wants to like, wants to wants to like, you know, run to the hills. Like, I, I, I don't You're know. Different. Have, you ever, have, you ever, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen um, Paranormal Activity, the first one? There's a yeah. scene. There's a scene where the they, they use the Ouija board and they walk away. And like they leave the camera on for whatever reason, and the Ouija board like just does this crazy ass shit and gets set on fire. When I saw that, it, I think I saw it in theaters or wherever I saw it doesn't matter. It had to have been in theaters because I, I don't know why I have this memory of watching it like that. I remember laughing my ass off, and like everyone around me being so upset, <laughs> like what the fuck that wasn't funny. But I thought it was hilarious. I don't look. It looked ridiculous because it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's like it's like this. It's like. Woo, woo, woo. It looked like the kind of thing you would see, like, in... And I'm sure there was one, by the way. It looks like... like I don't remember which scary movie did it. But it, it, it looked like a scene you would see in the scary movie spoof of Paranormal Activity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the scary movie spoof series, yeah. So, like, it, I just laughed my ass. I'm like, you can put a laugh track on that and we'd all find it funny. We'd be like, whoop, put a little whoop, a whizzy sound as it, like, ran around the board. I don't know why that was supposed to be creepy. But anyways, that's my uh, Ouija board story. Um... I gotta find some. I'm gonna play with the Ouija board at a con next. Oh, I was talking about the doing that too. Cause um, I'm gonna bring one to like the next con we do and see if anyone wants to do it. And, like maybe we all die. I'll film it. I'll Just live stream it. Home. Yeah, like it, it'll be great. I'll, I'll like next time we have a. Uh, next time I go to AWA next year and we'll we'll do that. We'll do that at a con. Okay, Ren. No. You'll take part in it. It'll be great. No. You'll be in the back <laughs> of a miscellaneous panel at like two a.m. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hope that AWA doesn't pick Halloween weekend again next year, but um I think I think that's where it's gonna be exactly. for a while. But like uh even the word on the street that I know well, because I, I don't know the con people directly, but I know well you know who I know, Ren. But I know people who like help bring guests and apparently they've been told that as well. And I'm like, oh my god, why? Like actually I don't know if you were on that podcast. I actually know the why, because that's like uh, holiday weekends are always the cheapest weekends for any convention. Yeah. Um, which is why there's so many. Like, um, even besides HentaiCon, there's still a couple others. It's just that I, I'd rather not go to them. And usually most people realize, especially when it's a an event that involves similar things, like Halloween, cosplay. I know, the, I know people are like, oh, those are two different things. But let's be real here. That involve like younger people in costumes. It's like you don't want those two things to overlap. And if they do do next year Halloween, which they, they, I hear they will, it will definitely be during the con. Like it'll be smack dab in one of the most busy days. So I'm just like, mm -hmm. please. It's not like, you know, a Thursday. It's a fucking Friday. But anyway. Anyway, I'm ranting about AWA again. We've already we've all done that. You you, you see you saw the threads. I'm sure you saw a lot more threads than I did. Yeah, October 2020, <laughs> Halloween is on Saturday. Oh my god, you're, you're right because it's a fucking oh. leap year. That's even worse. Yeah. That's even worse. <laughs> but that's that's good for me going to. You know what sucks? He's like thanks to fucking leap year, we're gonna I'm gonna miss like an extra day for like carnival. Like that could have been on a Friday and a Saturday. R.I.P. to carnival happening on a friday i have to literally wait seven more years for that but <laughs> <laughs> literally li and i won't be wanting to party like that again i'll be fucking i'll be too old for this shit i'm like i don't feel like going out like partying well there's people this is some old ass people at carnival by the way of, <laughs> it kind of feels like you ever go to like the in vegas like on the fucking um well vegas in general but like at night when you go down uh fremont street and it's like, oh yeah. It's, and during, Hall during Halloween, it's crazy. By the way, there's like bands set up everywhere, but there's like bands playing. There's people in costumes. And there's like half naked chicks. And then what I love, what I love, is there are families. There is like parents with very small children and children that are probably like two that are that right age where they're young, but they're still a little too old to be seeing what they're seeing. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, you know what you're saying? Where it's all like, if they're, if they're really young, it's like, oh, they're not going to, they probably don't know what the fuck's going on. But when they're like the right age, where it's all like, um, they probably need a couple more years so they see that. It's another thing when you're, when you're like a teenager. It's like, fuck it. But, um, you don't need to see all the, uh, you only see all the, the, the half naked people everywhere. But, um, anyways, go to Vegas, Ren. Go, go get like, go get wasted no. on Fremont Street. You don't want to do Vegas? No. I love Vegas, but that's another story. 
they um I went I, I was there I spent Halloween 2017 there and that was great it, it was stupid and they have a there's an amusement park there called the Adventure Dome it's part of the Circus Circus Casino and uh it becomes oh, yeah. it becomes like a theme park like with uh I mean it becomes a theme park it becomes like one of those scary theme parks at night where they have mazes and shit like that so uh you get that experience okay. too. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll come. I'll come for that. You go to that. You just want to go yeah. to Fremont and see like the, the naked people. And if you go to if you go to Planet Hollywood, it's the, if you go to the casino, they have the pleasure pit where they uh the casino gets all like sh- like this happens every night, not even during Halloween, where the where like the girls are dancing on the tables and shit like that, like on the. I can. Like, I can. I can just go to Dragon Con. <laughs> <see> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is all off topic. Um, gosh, I think we're out of time. I was going to ta- go more about what we talked about last week. Like, we talked a lot about, like, uh, old viral videos and, like, gore and shit like that that we accidentally clicked on when we were, like, on the MySpace days, which, um... Accidentally. Well, I don't know about you, Ren. Like, I don't know. Like, I... Like, I... <laughs> This isn't gore. This isn't like Ren. I mean, Ren. I called her Ren. Uh, Konar kept calling it gore, but like, no, it's not gore. It's like I was mentioning how like y'all got Rick rolled. Like when I was like when I was growing up on MySpace, like, I got like fucking goat seed. Do you remember? Does anyone remember that? Does anyone remember that? But me? Or is it, you probably didn't even know the name. But like, I brought that up. I'm not. I'm not gonna mention it again. Just don't. By the way, no one Google it if you don't know what it is. Just don't. But um, and I got like two girls, one cup, and shit like that. So uh. Oh God. Oh my! Yeah, so um, oh, I'm sick again. I shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> there used to be a reaction video because, like, that was a big thing back in YouTube in like 2006 or seven. There used to be yeah. a reaction video of myself watching that, but there were millions of them. Like, I'm sure it was just scattered in there. Um, but yeah, I remember there was one. Me, and my friend, my friend made me watch it without realizing what it was, and it, it, it's stupid how how that happened, but. I remember, like, it, it was amusing because he had already seen it, so he knew what he was in for. But as we were watching it, he got up, ran to the bathroom, and threw up. And you can't even, you, you don't even see that on camera. Like, he didn't do that for the camera. He did that in real life. <laughs> like, he just ran away. And then I'm like, are you okay? He's like... <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> but anyway. Um, why did I bring that up? Um... Think of a better note to end it on. I don't feel like ending it there. Ren, <laughs> tell us more yeah. about. There you go. <laughs> it's funny that because you burp so many times on a drunk podcast, and like I actually have a video when you do that crazy mega burp that lasted like almost ten seconds, and <laughs> uh, well, not that long, but it was legit like five seconds. Um, and I don't know if it was because of that. Maybe you were like, oh, I burped so much that that one week I'm not going to do it again. You, like, never burped on the, the subsequent podcast, and it was, like, it was amazing. I mean, like, I usually only burp a ton if I'm drinking, like, things regularly. Oh, yeah, you probably just hadn't drank anything those the, the next two weeks. But, yeah. Because I remember... <laughs> I remember the first time we ever had you on, which is, like, um, over a year ago now. Um... When it came out of nowhere within like 20 minutes in it was like very early on you're just like we're talking and you didn't even like just burp <laughs> we're just like uh, <laughs> but that's just your thing just monstrous burp anyway Sorry. that's that we're gonna bounce next week like I, I started saying this earlier next week I'm not sure what we're gonna do um, but we, we might do Scribbly EO I don't know who the guest is gonna be um, I have some ideas I, I know the main issue is I don't know if Konaru's gonna be back but I have ideas already um, we, I think we've had like I wanted this last year but somehow we did it this year I wanted like every quote unquote like notable guest host we've ever had to come back during the month of October and so far all of them have um <laughs> yeah so um we even got like Callie and Janet Janet's never been on um so I have some ideas for next week and we might do another point five one with some people in Japan that might or might not happen only because I fucked up and I just realized we only have one weekend left um so yeah and we might do some other shit we'll see uh shout out to Ken and Ken uh, Ken Ed and Kenneth sorry current patrons Sh- join us patreon.com slash ADJ connections Give us money if you Are want. You Halloween night? Huh? Halloween night. Oh, I just realized the dance. I just realized the dance. 
I like how you know it. <laughs> well, Jasmine, I said Jasmine I'm know learning, it. I'm, I'm learning it for A to be way. Oh, really? I, th- I thought you guys hate AKB48. Um, I like a few of their songs, but I like AKB as a whole. I remember, like, I brought them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at, um, fuck, who's that? That's, uh, Megan. Um, in the chat, nice dance. Uh, I remember I, whenever I bring up uh, AKB48 to Sylvia or any 48 group, um, she's like, oh, them or whatever. Fun fact. <laughs> Um, uh, Jazz, remember I was showing you like our podcast numbers, and I was like, I, I was I was sharing about the drunk podcast that, that uh, it's uploaded, but no nobody's seen it. But then I was like, what the fuck is this? And we have the podcast that have all these comments, all these views, all these likes, and it's the AKB forty eight ones we did. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? It's like we should just become a forty eight G podcast. Like what the yeah. that's, like that's where the money's at apparently. Uh, wait, I shouldn't say that because our podcast. Are, for some reason, people watch our other podcasts like religiously, like for like hours on end. So, like, I think we make like a dollar off each podcast, which I don't know if I owe everyone a quarter now or something. But, <laughs> but anyway, Randall, keep dancing. Go to AWA, check her out at um, Peachy Parade Idol Fest, whatever the fuck you guys call it. Um, Peach, this one's called it's, it's, called, not, it's called the Peachy Parade Idol Fest. No, it's not our Idol Fest. Well, whatever. No, I'm just making. I'm saying this. I meant to say, see you guys at the Idol Fest, but it's your guys' Idol Fest. I don't care. Oh, but it's if, not our Idol Fest. <laughs> uh, anyways, go watch them at the the Idol Fest, whatever it's called. Um, actually, no, it's called. But I want to keep the joke going now. Um, also, check out. We should have a panel going on the week after. Tickets the week they're going to Japan. We should have a panel the week after at PMX. Also, if you're having fun, we're doing next week for sure, but I, I won't announce it again. Probably because I'll keep forgetting. And, it, and if I next week happens the way it'll happen, it'll probably be drunk podcast. Um, I already said the drunk podcast, the one with Ren and I, will be released in an edited form um, the week following Halloween. So you guys can watch that there. And uh, you can watch Ren. I'll, I'll put that by itself, just, just so Ren can see it and like cringe. <laughs> the singing, the acapella singing. On that note, were you there the whole time, Megan? Just like silently lurking. You're like one of the creepers. I've been playing, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, and um, <laughs> she's she's a, she's the lurkers that come up behind me and ruin my house. But um, on that note, we're gonna go. You guys don't go because we need, we need a fucking thumbnail. Everyone else go. See you next week. Uh, thank you all for watching us. Thank you for, for watching us on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Especially like. It's easy you can do to support us. If you are watching on YouTube, go watch us live. If you Because if you haven't seen us live in a while, I actually fixed the stream and it worked. I like how I finally fixed it and it worked. And p- people who got so upset they didn't watch as much this weekend and this week. Because we had a lot of viewers who were just mad. Sorry. Oh, by the way, shout out to the guy who told me how to fix it last week. If for some reason you're watching now to the very end, which I doubt <laughs> it. If for some reason you are watching to the very end... You did tell me how to fix it, and I fixed it. Thank you, person who got really mad at me. (laughs) Good night. Good luck. There's a cat. We're winning the internet, guys.